<laughs> it's unbelievable. Believe it or not, that noise in action can give you poor gas mileage. Even though you saw and heard that noise, did you see the actual strut movement? Well, it's crazy, isn't it? Even though this car gets great MPGs, which means miles per gallon, you might not notice a slow in decrease in actually your gas miles per gallon. But you can be your own detective sometimes just by looking at your tires, turn the wheel on the outside so you can read the tread and you'll know if you have a suspension issue that could be contributing to poor gas mileage. So I have a new part here from 1AAuto.com just to show you uh, what a little control arm looks like. So we've got the front bushing and the rear wood bushing. They call this a hockey puck bushing. And then the ball joint actually comes with this control arm. It's optional. But I'm just showing you this because I want you to have an image in your head when I show you what is going on down below on this. And a quick way to be kind of your own detective. You don't need any education on motive. You can be a, a, a DIYer. But I want you to feel empowered of how to see if there's something wrong with your front end. If you start hearing noises and what to look for in tire tread and how to read it. So turn your wheel to it's all the way out like this. And if you can see this tire tread, this is what they call the outer edge, and that's the inner edge, and the center tread. So you might not be able to see it physically on the camera, but run your fingers over your tires sometimes. And this is smooth, but if I go this way, do you hear that? Like a paper, like a <laughs> We call that feathering. That means this tire is not lined properly we could have got an alignment just six months ago, two months ago. But if a part goes bad, or if you hit a major pothole, which you better get your front end checked or check it yourself if you do, bad suspension will cause tire wear, which will cause the car not to go straight down the road, and that ends up with poor gas mileage. So, I mean, I can't even believe this noise. And it wasn't, I mean, this is without the car on the ground. It is horrendous. And wait till you hear what it sounds like going down the road. We have it for you later on. And it, it, it's, I just can't even imagine that someone drove this car and didn't fix it. So another quick way to do is obviously, I've talked about this before in the past, jack your car up, put a jack, put a jack stand under here. Being that it's front wheel drive, it has a front strut assembly. So that lower control arm can hang down. You don't need to support the control arm to feel the front end. Um, you're gonna go three and nine or three and nine and you're gonna go east and west now you can hear that noise right now my first thought when i drove this i was like oh man these strut mounts are wasted but it wasn't the strut mounts i bet you thought that now i'm checking for tie rod end there and wheel bearing 12 and 6. there's nothing loose in this actual tire housing area knuckle area tie rod end feels tight but if i go like this Man, that's crazy. So let's bring this up and I'm gonna show you what it is. All right, so we're under the car now and I'm gonna reveal it. And you're not gonna, I can't stop laughing only because someone drove this car for a regular, quite a while considering how bad this is. It didn't happen like that. They just kept driving and boy, I'm gonna run over the symptoms more than it could be and when you're driving. But take a look at the uh, back of this control arm hockey puck is what we call it, the bushing. Watch this. And guess what? Both sides do it. Now, I don't mean to be like making fun of and laughing at it, but boy, in my end of this spectrum, it's pretty comical that you would drive like this. You need to solve this issue. This is, as you can see how much play it is, it's pretty exciting for me to see something like this because that two and a half inch play, there's a lot of play in there. On alignment scale, boy, that comes up to feet. Feet, do you understand? Feet, not your foot, but feet in diameter for alignment. It's crazy that someone drove like this. And I bet you they got rid of it because they just couldn't put up with it anymore. Instead of solving it, how quick and cheap it is to solve this problem is mind boggling that I would trade this in because of this. It's crazy what people spend. And it's so easy to do. So we're going to take this thing for a ride and you're going to actually see the horrificness in it. And I also want to talk about other things that can cause tie wear. 
tie rod ends, inner and outer. I've got a beauty on an outer tie rod end. Boy, it's wasted. So now we're out on the road and you're gonna actually get to hear this horrific sound. <laughs> I, I, when I drove it in the shop the first time, I was like, what? Now, just going, can you guys hear? <laughs> it sounds like a death trap. It sounds like the front end is ready to fall out of the car. Well, and technically it kind of is. Those little control arm bushings, this is what I break. <laughs> oh boy. So on this car, you can see this front tire. Look at the wear on just the outer edge, right? That's almost at the second, it's at the rubber. It's little dots of the secondary rubber showing and how the inner is not like that. What causes that is front end suspension being bad and which makes the alignment bad. So you go pay for an alignment and they go, oh, we can't line your car up because you have a bad suspension part or steering part. In this particular case, it is the outer tire end. So this car, when it's on the weight of the road and it goes down the road, this tire is wobbling. Not severe that you're ever gonna feel it, but enough that this tire is taking all the pressure and it's just wearing out. The, the alignment of those wheels are not straight. The right front tire on this is going back and forth like this. The nose of it is going back and forth. And that causes this tire to wear out on the edge. It's more than likely pushed out to the right. So it's like walking with one foot on your body, shooting out to the right constantly. Your shoes aren't gonna wear right and your hips not gonna feel too good either. So when your tire is going down the road in that manner, due to bad suspension, your gas mileage is gonna drop because it's not all lined up properly. It's kind of like your own body, right? If you feel good, you're in shape, or you know your back doesn't hurt, you feel like you can do the most you can. So it's the same with your tires and your front end suspension. If your tires are wearing wrong due to bad suspension, you could have toe out, toe in, you could have bad caster and camber, and that's making your tires bow out, whether it's bowing out on the top, the bottom, the front, or the back. And that's kind of like plowing down the road. Heaven forbid both your front tires are actually towed in due to a bad lower control arm bushing that makes that tire bow out every time it gives you deaccelerate and accelerate. And those tires are just fighting against you going down the road. That's gonna wear on your gas. Your engine's like, I'm trying to go as to a forward as fast as I can, as fast as you're asking me to, but there's resistance. That's the word I'm looking for, resistance. The resistance in the flow of your car. Man, it's so easy to fix it and solve it. And nowadays, I don't care even if it's great gas prices. You want the most out of your car and the best you can. But you really need your dollar to go further nowadays. And that's a good way to solve it. You can do it yourself. So all suspension is not just in the front of a car. We do have rear suspension. It contributes a lot to how your car goes down the road. This has coil springs with shocks, but it's got the solid rear end. It's not a differential, it's just a solid frame. And here are the bushings that it's attached to on the car. And there's rubber bushings in there. And when those bushings dry out and rot, that can shift this differential like this. If you hit a good size pothole, or heaven forbid you've been in an accident, and the body shop didn't pick that up, and this, this whole rear drive line got shifted. Now you go down the road. This is what I like to do when I drive down the road sometimes on the highway. I'll look at the vehicle in front of me depending on the age of it, the type of vehicle. But I can tell if I line myself up with the rear driver's tire to the front, I've seen a lot of good sized trucks where that back tire just bows out a little to the left or to the right. And I call that dog tailing. So your car and engine is not gonna be efficient as it should be because it's dragging, it's dragging weight. If I asked you to run 100 yards, you could run 100 yards. But if I asked you to run 100 yards, dragging something behind you. You're not gonna make the proper time. You can't, you can't beat your time, right? You do it two minutes, whatever, 50 feet. You're not gonna make that in the same amount of time if you're dragging something behind you. And if your car suspension is not lined up properly or working properly due to being defective, you're, you're dragging yourself behind and your car is working twice as hard, which will also contribute to wear and tear on that engine. Nobody wants that. So in this video, I showed you how suspension can totally contribute to bad fuel mileage, gas mileage, MPG, whatever you want to call it. But boy, can it, and it sure can. And you heard the noises these cars are making. I hope that if you have that noise, 
you feel confident enough to go to 1aauto.com, you buy the part, and install it from our videos because that's what I'm here for. I, I can't wait to hear back from you guys on comments and how you solve your own issues. I think it's fun to be like a little detective, look at the tire wear, know what kind of part you're going to need, check it out, and it just makes you feel good inside. And I know you can do it because I can do it, so you can do it. Now, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because then it turns on all your notifications so you won't miss any of our future videos.